Madena Saleh is proud of her sewing business near Arbil in northern Iraq. But just two years ago, she had nothing, living in poverty. Like millions of others, she was caught up in Iraq's post-war devastation. What's changed her life? A remarkable program for bottom-up economic revival. She says, I was a jobless housewife living in poor circumstances and had no way to improve my life. Then I got training in dressmaking. I got help to start a sewing business, and it really grew month by month. I got a lot of customers, and I was given sewing machines to help with the business. Things are a lot better now. People in Arbil know about my dressmaking. It all started back in 2007. An ambitious program led by the UN Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, working with its partner, the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, to help the Iraqi government in this quest for recovery, with funds from the European Union. Under the program, Madena got the training and the machines that she needed. Programs like this are vital here. This is a country where a quarter of the population are out of work. How to get Iraq's private industry back on its feet? to generate jobs and growth at the grassroots. Northern Iraq is one of the country's poorest regions. Five million people often lacking basic services. Infrastructure destroyed in the war, education and training damaged. Most of the vulnerable people here are women, but many internally displaced people returning also need help. Needed to break the cycle of poverty, cottage industries like Medina's, the backbone of Iraq's private sector. Training and marketable skills would be the key to unlocking this potential. Vulnerable people learned the technical skills at training centers near where they live, and they learned about marketing and entrepreneurship. Before the program, over 60% of vulnerable people here had no work. Today, nine out of 10 trainees are employed or self-employed. Two and a half thousand households benefit directly and provide jobs and income for the communities around them. We can say Kurdistan especially need more and more projects like this to, to recover the economic in Kurdistan and to, to put uh, the, uh, the area, especially in village area, to start with their own job, to sustain their uh, life and to their o economy. And other projects are happening. In southern Iraq, centers to help the government train vulnerable people and encourage small businesses. The focus is on helping people displaced because of conflict. Here, 1,500 households have benefited. For the Iraqi Social Affairs Minister, Nasser al-Rubayi, these programs are part of an overall strategy. The five-year development plan, 2010-2014, gives us a real strategy for reducing unemployment. It's part of an overall national development plan, really a strategy to reduce poverty. Medina can look ahead with confidence. For her and thousands like her, the rebuilding of Iraq's economy has begun at the grassroots, leaving a legacy for the future.